Hello, Linda from Balati's Body Blitz here, a little mini in her donut bed. Today we're doing a completely seated walking workout. So we're gonna be simulating walking in place while we're sitting down. Now, if you are not able to move your legs, you can still do the upper body portion. I'm gonna keep it quite energetic. We're going to go for 20 minutes and I'm gonna change the exercise every 30 seconds. So just follow along as best you can. But the main point of today is just to keep moving. So don't worry if you miss some reps, don't worry if you can't go as fast as me, just go at your pace and have fun with it, okay? So the very first exercise is going to be marching in place. So we're gonna keep our tummy pulled in and just use your arms as if you're marching and if you can use your lower body, pick up those feet. Now I'm seated right at the edge of my chair because that means I need to use my abs to really keep me in place. But if you find that you need to move further back to get extra support underneath your thighs, you can definitely do that. So we're gonna pump those arms. Make sure you take deep breaths the entire time. Okay, we're gonna go out and out and then just start bringing your arm down to the side. So you're tapping your leg to the side and just pushing those arms back. Squeeze the back of your arm as you punch down. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Nice long neck. We're gonna keep the legs the same and just punch in front now. Maybe you take those legs out even wider. So punch in front. Twisting through the waist a little bit. So punch kind of diagonal front. Draw your belly button into your spine and try to twist and twist. Keeping your hips steady and just twisting through that waistline. Now, can you tap your heel in front and then punch overhead, heel and heel. If you don't like this, just keep marching in place and punching overhead. I think it was opposites, wasn't it? Opposite leg, opposite arm. If the music is a bit fast, just slow it down. Now we're going to do both arms out. I'm gonna have my palms towards the back. So I'm once again getting the tricep, tapping those toes back out to the side. Anytime you need a little break, just take it. So keeping your arms up here, you're really engaging those shoulders. You should be starting to feel a nice burn there. We're gonna do a march again, marching in place. Now we're gonna go one, two, one, two, double. One, two, double. One, two, double. I think I messed that up then. One, two, double. One, two, double. Now, can you extend your leg fully like this? If not, just keep it along the ground and tap it. If you can, get it up to knee height. Swing those arms to the front. As you bring your arms back, don't just let them drop. Really deliberate kind of action chopping through the air as if it's thick mud. Tummies are in. Okay, now up and down with those heels as we punch overhead. Up and down. So as I raise my arms, my shoulders are not raising. I'm pushing my shoulders down in opposition. Up and down, getting some calf work here as well. Tummies are still in, spine is straight. Four, three, two, one, back to marching. Come on, big arms now. You should be warmer now. Now I want you to start twisting through your waist as you kind of punch those arms diagonally across.
You'll be feeling a nice heat in your waistline. Both arms punching and those heels again. Punch up, punch side. So forward and up, down and side. Keep those shoulders down. Nice and dynamic here. Three, two, one. Now, if you can, can you pick up your knee? Just start with a slower pace. Maybe you're just tapping in and out if you can't lift your knee. Otherwise, come all the way up. Maybe you can do it faster with me. Tap and up. You do your pace. Doesn't matter what you do with the other hand. You're rotating through your waist, trying to keep your hips square. Two and one. So again, other side, start slow. Either here or you're here. You are still twisting through your waist. If you're here, that's great. Otherwise, maybe you speed it up. I know it's fast. This is for the heart rate, people. And the hip flexor. Great thigh work here. Otherwise, if you're just upper body, this is what you're doing and you should be feeling that twist. And one, back to marching. Out, out, in, in. Out and out, in and in. Tummies are in. Get those knees up. This is a fast pace, don't worry about the music. We're just gonna do our own thing. Unless you really want to, then you can keep it small and march really fast with the music. But make sure you don't lose your form. Out and in, out and in. Both legs open and close. Otherwise, if you can't do out and in with both legs, do one leg or you're doing it slow. You can do it slow both or speed it up with me if you can. Squeeze your chest here, that's what it's for. You can lean back slightly for balance. Three, two, one. Big arms, cross and out. Stretch your chest. Now if you want it, a lot faster. Stretch your leg to the side, arms to the side. Maybe it's too hard to move fast with extended arms, so bend those arms. Come on, tap, tap. Are you still sitting really upright? Tummies are in. Forward, forward, back, back with those legs. Slightly forward, slightly back. If you don't like these arms, you can do whatever arms you want. I'm just using the kind of walking simulated arms, but you can definitely change them according to your preference. So we're tapping forward and in line. Forward, forward, back, back. Okay, we're gonna do those punches again, but we're going to keep our legs grounded. And if you can, come with me. Can you go faster? Just at your fastest challenging pace. Grounding the rest of my body, twisting through the waist and extending my arms to the corner. Breathe. Three, two, one. Two knees, two knees. Once again, your level. If you can bring it all the way up and pull your elbows past those knees, crunching your uppers to your lowers. Otherwise, you might just be here. Maybe you're just doing a tiny knee lift. Up and up, up and up. Can you tap slightly behind, lean your body a bit forward and tap kind of a little bit more to the side, but back. Lean forward, if you can, otherwise just stay here and go to the side like we did before. Rowing my elbows behind again.
three, two, one. Two to one side, two to the other side. Tap, tap. Tummy's in. Big open chest, push it through. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Slow it down if you need to. Marching back in place. Now if you want bigger arms. So slower arms, faster legs. Or keep it the same pace and just bend those arms. do some arm circles next so arm circles as we bring those heels to the front big circles to the back keep a really nice upright posture deep breaths in great work for the shoulders and Opening through the chest, stretching out. This is great for any hunching. We're gonna punch forward twice, tapping our toes in front. Punch and punch, punch and punch. Keep going. Row those elbows behind, squeeze the shoulder blades again. A little bit more work for the waistline. We're gonna lean. Lean down, keeping your hips steady. Maybe extend the bottom, sorry, the top arm and make it even more of a stretch. Two and one, and we're going to the other side. So maybe you're just here and you're leaning to the side as best as you can, or you're reaching across, reaching, reaching, and reaching. Now we're gonna reach and reach. Maybe you hold onto the chair as you reach across to give yourself even more of a stretch. Reach and reach. Tummies are in, blow out as you reach. Nice stretch. Four, three, two, one, and back to marching. We're gonna do bicep curls with a nice tricep extension. So bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, march it. Come on. The more dynamic your upper body movements, the more calories you burn. So we're gonna do a few upper body movements that you can follow along with, down and all the way up. Down, up, and back down. So same marching action with the lower body and we're just gonna switch up the arms. Punch overhead, punch with purpose. Shoulders down. Now, can you go diagonal? Maybe forward and back with the chest if you can. Stretching and stretching. If this is too much, just do the arms and don't worry about the legs. Otherwise, just keep marching in place. Big arms. Two and one. We're gonna to push to the side, anchor your lower body, push to the side. So what you're trying to do is shift your rib cage side to side, leaving your hips in place. Can you just move from the waist, from the rib cage, and push your arms to the side as if you're shutting a heavy door on either side. My arms are getting sore. I hope you're feeling this too. 
Okay, can we stay on one side and just do that heel in front, heel and toe, and heel and toe. Maybe a little twist, maybe a little punch. If this is too much, just do it really slow. Okay, that's your option. Anytime I do things fast, your option is to slow it down. So do exactly the same thing other side. Once you have it, twist and twist through the waist. Four, three, two, back to marching. Now, can you punch overhead one at a time? Do you want to punch down with the other arm as you punch up with that one? Why not? Really nice tall posture. As we get tired, we tend to slouch. I really want you to keep pushing your spine straight, as straight as you can, neck long. Three, two, and one. Can you do this? Over, under. It's a rotation from the elbow. Keep your legs marching. If this is too much, maybe you're down here, or just do some bicep curls, or just keep your marching arms. One, two, double. One, two, double. So single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Nice job. We're going to go knee across, knee across. So it's going to be big straight sweeping arms and bring the knee diagonal across and pick it up. If you can't pick your knee up, maybe you're just moving your leg side to side like this. But it's another option. Little pick up and really use those arms. If the arms are getting tight, just bend them a little bit. We're going to stay on one side, chop across and then tap further out. Otherwise you're here, if you can't move your lower body, chop and twist even more into it. This is going to whittle your waistline people. Same thing other side, so across and up, across and up, or you can anchor that foot and just really sweep it down, sweep it down. We're nearly done people, this is really flying by this workout. Should we do some fast feet? Can you do it? Can you go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in? If not, just do the slow march in place. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Using your core. Out, out, in, in. I know I'm going fast. You go your pace. That's it. Now can we do fast in the center? Fast, 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 little tap, tap, tap walks. Shall we go up like this? Fast little walks with little arms up in the air. We're nearly done. This is the second last 30 seconds. So we want to finish with a bang, right? So get those arms up, straight spine. Little walk, walk, walk. It's a fast, it's almost like a little jog. Get that heart rate up at the end there. 
And guess what? Fast feet and then punch across to the corner. Fast, fast, fast feet. Punch, punch, punch. Maybe twist as well. Come on, fast feet. It's a little kind of like prance on my toes. Tap, tap, tap. Punch, punch, punch. 10 seconds and we're done. Come on. Twist that waist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, people. That was amazing. 20 minutes non-stop movement. I hope you enjoyed it. I felt my core a lot because every time you're moving your legs, you're using your core here to brace. And even if you didn't use your legs, all those twists and all those reaches definitely got into your waistline as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you again very soon for another one. Bye for now.